Hello, this is Kevin Anand Eagle Strong Voice. It's August 31st with a breaking news announcement, a sequel to our historic announcement that the COVID regulations have been nullified and outlawed by common law people's assemblies on the west coast of Canada. And here is the update. In an historic act of direct democracy, people's assemblies on Vancouver Island have called upon civil and police authorities to stand down from enforcing COVID regulations or be charged with partaking in a criminal conspiracy against the health and the liberty of the people. Earlier this week, the same assemblies defied COVID regulations by issuing a public safety bylaw that outlaws social distancing, quarantining, masking, and mandatory vaccinations as unhealthy, unlawful, and unwarranted measures. Under this law, anyone who tries to impose COVID regulations can face imprisonment and fines within common law courts established by these assemblies. Now, these bylaws and orders were issued by two assemblies in Parksville and Victoria, British Columbia. And they set the pattern across Canada. Now, people in over 90 Canadian communities have come forward and asked for help in setting up the same assemblies so similar bylaws banning the COVID restrictions can be passed. Now, the thing to remember about this latest announcement is it's actually standing, telling the authorities to stand down. That is, we're not simply doing this as a defensive action. We're going on the offensive against these tyrannical powers and saying, you will not operate anymore according to the way you've been going up till now. This, in short, is a declaration of independence from the system. We are taking the power back. We, the people, are establishing the laws and the jurisdiction. To quote John St. John, a founder of the Parksville Common Law Assembly, we've drawn a line and told the government that enough is enough. When the system becomes lawless, it's up to the people to reestablish justice. We're calling on the police to enforce this bylaw, or we will. And Fiona Yaki of the Victoria Assembly reiterated his statement when he, she said, we've made history by putting power back into the hands of the people. We call on all Canadians to use that power by forming their own common law assemblies and reclaiming our nation. News of these actions have spread like wildfire around Canada and the world, prompting hundreds of Canadians to come forward to volunteer for this movement to establish the common law republic. And this resistance is now being coordinated and led by a national council of common law assemblies whose aim is to establish a sovereign republic in Canada. Now, you can write for more information to the Council of Assemblies at ProtonMail.com. You can contact the different assemblies through RepublicofCanada at gmail.com. And you can also listen to a recent interview with two of these leaders of the assemblies describing how they brought in these bylaws at bbsradio.com slash here we stand, the August 30th interview that's posted there just now. Well, to reiterate, it's now up to us to take the offensive against the system that will imprison our children, that will force mandatory vaccinations and other genocidal measures on us. We are telling the authorities to stand down. We're doing it through our common law assemblies, and we're going to enforce it with our common law sheriffs and courts. Stay tuned for more updates. This is Kevin Annett, Eagle Strong Voice, Republic of Canada, .ca. I thank you.